All right, Gino. So what do you prefer to do in your free time? Most of my free time, if I'm not talking to my family, which would probably be number one. Yeah. Like my okay. family. But other than that, I just like to sleep. Fair enough. Fair enough. Get some rest, you know. You got to have a lot of energy for basketball. What is the top thing on your bucket list, Jason? Top list on my bucket list. Oh, you know, I've not been to Dubai yet, you know, like mm. I see the views, the, I think it's the Burj Khalifa or something like that. Like all the tall buildings. I want to be up there. Okay. Okay. Next question. Cool. All right. Which one would you choose? Holidays in a luxury hotel or camping? Do I gotta sleep like in a, is it full camping like in a tent? Yeah, like uh, no. you out there. Yeah, luxury hotel then. I, mean, <laughs> I like nature and anything, but I want to sleep inside. So, all right. Okay. Uh, all right. Complete this sentence. My favorite country to go on holiday is. Ah, uh, yeah, Deutschland. <laughs> <laughs> Deutschland, yeah, yeah. No, I love, I love, I love Munich. Um, it's my favorite city. I was born in Berlin, but still, I think Munich is the best city in Germany. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so who's your favorite basketball player? Well, favorite basketball player besides you, of course, is yes. uh, <laughs> probably Kyrie Irving. Just, Kyrie Irving. I like watching the way he plays basketball is is mesmerizing sometimes for me. What was the name of your first childhood basketball team? Oh, first, um, I think it was called Manchester Magic. Yeah, so that's where I started basketball and mm -hmm. went through the whole program. Pretty much, they developed me into the player I am today, so I'm very grateful to them. Shout out oh. Manchester Magic. Oh, one six one, man, he on the map, <laughs> huh? Okay, complete this sentence. I couldn't live without... Air, water, uh, food. Yeah, those are obvious ones, but <laughs> let's say... Uh, what couldn't I live without? Okay, I couldn't live without the Milka, the Oreo chocolate. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Milka my favorite chocolate. candy. I don't like candy, like, at all. I don't <laughs> eat sweets. Like, I really don't. I don't like dessert, like cakes. I'm not really. But the milk or Oreo, yeah, I nice. keep them in my freezer. I got, like, five <laughs> right now. Uh, what time do you usually get up? So, for me, this might sound crazy, but regardless of if it's an off day or a normal day, practice day, I got to be up at 6.30. I, I don't mind just sitting next to, like, in my car. Like, I will literally sit and wait. But, yeah, I got to be up at 6.30. That's crazy, bro. So this next question is not just basketball, but in general, like who inspires you the most? Who inspires me? Uh, right now, you know, I recently had a daughter. So I'll say my daughter probably inspires me the most. Um, mm -hmm. Just wanting to live my life the best I can so that, you know, down the line, I can put her in the best positions to be successful. You know, if I don't take care of my business right now. Yeah. You know, who knows what the future would look like for us versus if I'm able to do the things that I'm supposed to be doing, you know, make money, provide a good life for her. Then, you know, I think it's it, it'll just put her in a better position to be successful and, you know, even out achieve me in a sense. So I would say that's my biggest inspiration for sure. Uh, kind of speaking of, of, you know, future, what does your life look like in 10 years? Oh, 10 years? 10 so years. I'm, so I'm 20 now, 30. I'd want to be an NBA. Yeah, like if it's not NBA, Euro League, but I want to be a top basketball mm -hmm. player. I like that. I like that. Okay, which traits are necessary to become a professional basketball player? That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Am I qualified to answer this? Man? Yes, more than qualified, <laughs> overqualified. Um, uh, what traits? I think you. Um, I think obviously, I think number one is you got to enjoy the game. I think that that. Um, you know, for a lot of people, once they become a professional, it becomes a job. Um, and I've seen people that at that point, they kind of lose that love for the game. And, and yeah. I know a lot of people, especially being an American, you know, guys that didn't make the NBA, they come over here. If you don't really love the game and it just becomes a job, um, you know, they start to hate it. I know guys that lasted a few months and go home, a couple yeah. years and go home. So I'd say just that love for the game, and it allows you to be a sponge, you know? Like yeah. If you really love it, you're just around the game all the time. You're soaking up information. You're, you're, you're consistently getting better just because you spend so much time um, playing the game, watching the game. So I'll say that that love is definitely foundational for yeah. being you know, successful as a basketball player. I agree. Uh, <laughs> which one of your teammates needs longer than you in the locker room after a match and why? 
You know what? <laughs> Even bringing him here today was actually pretty long. I'd definitely say Gino. I mean, he just sits there. <laughs> You know, he's just taking his time. He doesn't mind. He's not, he's not in a rush. Nobody rushes him. Even on the basketball court, nobody rushes him. <laughs> That's fair. Natural. I think I do just sit in the locker for a long time doing nothing. <laughs> okay. All right, my turn. If you could read the thoughts of one person, the thoughts of which person would you like to read and why? I just going to sound crazy. But <laughs> I want to read my daughter's mind. Because, like, okay. she's six months, right? And I'm just like... What are you thinking? <laughs> like, what, what thoughts could a baby have? You don't know anything. You haven't experienced nothing in life. But I can see her brain like moving. Like, yeah. you see her eyes moving. Like, what are you thinking? Because like, you probably can't even think in words. Yeah. Like, so it's just like, I don't know. It's I think about that a lot. Actually, though, I'm just like, <laughs> or she just like sitting there and she'll like grab a spoon and bang the spoon on her like food table. It's like, what are you, you thinking mean. about? Like, yeah. why would you do that? <laughs> Uh, if you had the chance, with which person would you like to swap for one day and why? Ooh, like person, like basketball player or just any person? Anybody. You just swap. You just swap. You get to be them mm. for a day. You know what? I'd probably say, I know this, this, this might sound a bit weird, but Chris Brown. Like what? just, just, just <laughs> the ability to be able to dance. Like whenever someone asks, you know, they're just like, oh, can you dance for me real quick? And then he busts out all the music and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. You want to so. be able to dance. Are you a good dancer? No. No. Okay. <laughs> no, so that makes all, sense so. then why you would want to have that. Yeah. I'll probably say Chris Brown. Got you. Got you. Okay. Which was your best Halloween costume? Oh, best Halloween costume. I actually have a pretty good one like for this year. I'm not going to say it. You'll have to wait and see. Um, all right. I'm a big, I love Halloween. My birthday is like 10 days before Halloween. So the whole like that two weeks is just, <laughs> I love Halloween. My best ever Halloween costume. One year I was the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, like Will Smith, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and I think I like nailed, like I think you I did the got hair as it, well, like right on. Had the hair, like <laughs> the outfit, like there was a picture of like from one episode, like I think I almost matched it perfectly. So that's probably my like my best ever. Okay. Um, if you had one superpower, it can't be dancing. Anything other than that. If you had one superpower, what would it be? I think it'd be teleportation. Like, I want to be able to teleport, um, go anywhere I want, really, yeah. you know, just at the fort, just bang. That's a good one. Um, That's yeah, a good one. I think, yeah. Do, I do a lot of teleportation. <laughs> and I wouldn't need to drive. Uh, I'm not the best uh. driver. So. <laughs> okay. If you could play one game again, which would it be and why? One basketball game, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, I would say my senior year of college against Texas Tech uh, in the Elite Eight NCAA tournament. Yeah. We, uh, we lost the game, so obviously just the chance to go back. I think I could have played better personally. I don't think I was aggressive enough. Um, mm -hmm. And the final four that year um, was in Minneapolis, so my hometown. Oof. And we lost in the round before, obviously, so we yeah. didn't get to, to go to Minneapolis, play in the final four, play for a national championship. So if I could do one game over, that would no question be the game. Yeah. Uh, which other sports besides basketball did you do in the past? Mm, other sports? Uh, I was like a multi-sport athlete. Like, just give me a ball and I'm pretty yeah, good with all sports. I football, know. Hear about it every American day. football, tennis, golf. We went golf the other day. I was a pro, literally. Um, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, every sport. Every sport, man. <laughs> but, okay. okay. Oh, Wow. Which of my traits is getting on your nerves the most? Huh? You're a habitual liar. You just lie and exaggerate everything. You did so bad at I golf. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know. Everyone loves me. I don't. I, pfft, no idea. I would say that's bad. I think you're a very enjoyable person. Everybody loves you, but the constant lying, it's making it, it's, it's hard to trust you. Okay. <laughs> All right, last one I've got for you, which is kind of the opposite of that. Which of my traits do you like the most? Ooh, like the most. I think it's definitely like your calmness, your approach okay. to life. Like, I'm usually someone who thinks at 100 miles per hour, but with you, I think like you're so calm, you think things through and you relax and you realize that it's not that bad of a situation, even in games and even outside of games. So 
just to be able to live chill. It's, it's a nice approach to life. I appreciate that. You'll get there, man. You'll grow up one day. Get older. I hope, man. I hope. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. what's done. Good, good. That was fun. Yeah.